And welcome back to Folks in the Mix with Denise Ames. I would now like to introduce a very special guest that decided to stop by today and give us some of his precious time, and we're very grateful. This is Dr. David Rahimi. Thank you. And he's located on Wilshire Boulevard, Beverly Hills adjacent. Right adjacent. And yes. I'm going to reveal that he's actually my doctor. <laughs> so, Dr. Rahimi, let's tell the audience what type of doctor you are. Uh, well, thank you for having me on the show. Um, I'm board certified in dermatology. I'm also fellowship trained in cosmetic surgery. I belong to the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery. I'm also a co-director of a fellowship program. So we teach other surgeons the fine um, art and science of cosmetic surgery. Now you specialize in a number of things. In LA, let, in LA, let's face it, you know, looks are everything here. So it's like, we need you. Thank you, thank you for being here. And you specialize in liposuction, uh, laser skin, resurfacing Botox, mm -hmm. facelifts, eyelid surgery, chemical peels, and even hand rejuvenation, which I think is amazing. Yeah, most people forget to put sunscreen on your chest and hand mm -hmm. and if you live in Southern California invariably you will get a lot of damage so we can reverse the signs of uh, time and aging and make you look much younger and then stay out of the Sun absolutely you have made me stay out of the Sun <laughs> it's like I'm like this now I, I was born and raised on in San Diego on the beach yes. in Del Mar so it's like I was worshiping the Sun since I was a baby yeah. and now I have to totally do the opposite but look what you did to me you are so good at what you do because whenever a patient comes to you me included and I've said I want this this and this and you're like well I'll do this and this but you don't need this yet yeah. and one of the things you have told me is I don't need Restylane but some yeah. friends of mine have come in that I've referred and you've given them Restylane they have no lines here anymore you're and a miracle worker under the eyes in the cheekbones and chin right less is more you can always do more and I don't like that done or swept or windblown look we always do the very, cat. very conservative stuff yeah the cat and um, <laughs> again the most important thing is to look uh, well rested and healthy and do everything safely mm -hmm. and minimally invasive ways. All right. And I've gotten a lot of compliments too. Wow, you look you look so yeah, good. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. I owe it all to you because I've been with your office since 1988. Yes. Now you've been in practice for over a decade mm -hmm. and you actually, I mean, through the years you you always are, you know, coming up with new technology and learning from others and you're teaching others. Yes. But you have two latest that you would like to show share with the audience and one of them is the MED. Yeah. MED stands for manual epidermal dermabrasion. You know, we have all these uh, new technologies, and I have six, uh, I think, seven different lasers in my office. But one thing that I do is by hand, using a blade, I take off six or seven layers of the skin and rejuvenate the skin. Mm. Uh, and then after the skin is taken off, I apply a mixture of carbon dioxide to the skin to tighten the pores. So when people first see it, they're sort of taken back by it because, you know, you see this blade coming towards you, but there's no cutting, there's no hurting, and uh, the downtime is practically none. You can socialize that night, right. and it really rejuvenates the skin and takes off the fine lines. Exactly, and quickly, you also have a second uh, thing that's very popular yeah. at your office, and that's called the mini facelift, but you call it a tulip yeah, lift. Yeah, it's called a tulip lift. Um, I've developed this facelift over the past five, six years. The key components are that uh, the, reason, the reason I call it the tulip lift is because there, there, there are petals underneath the skin. The mm -hmm. stitches, the sutures come together in form of a petal underneath the skin. Mm -hmm. And you can actually individualize it to the patient's needs. Someone that needs more pulling in the neck or jowl direction can get that without having, again, that windblown or swept look. Exactly. And uh, it's wonderful. It's all done under local anesthesia and a little Valium mm -hmm. by mouth. Okay. And the recovery is about 10 to 14 days. That's fabulous. And because I remember when the recovery was like a month or two. Yeah. Now, here's something. You mentioned local anesthesia. Yeah. And this is something that, that keeps me coming back to your office yeah. and that I refer a lot of people and they go to you too is because safety is number one in your office, Absolutely. meaning that you try to avoid general anesthesia yeah. at, at all costs. And you do that. I've never yeah. been put under completely yeah. in your office. Um, also, I love this quote that mm -hmm. I, I saw that you um, said. You should look like your best self, mm -hmm. not like someone else. Yeah, I truly believe that. I always tell my patients, whenever you hear horror stories about, cosme mm -hmm. about cosmetic surgery or plastic surgery. Like the girl that likes to look like Barbie. Yes, but okay. whenever you hear terrible things, it's right. always the anesthesia. Mm. If you don't like a scar, you can revise mm -hmm. it. If there's an infection, you, treat, you can treat it with antibiotic. Bleeding will stop, but when people don't wake up, they don't wake up. Right. So I don't use general anesthesia. 
I do everything on the local and a little bit of sedation. And you'll be surprised. You can do almost any cosmetic surgery under local anesthesia. Right. So um, you offer free consultations Absolutely. to a client. Mm -hmm. If you go on the website, I mean, it's very extensive. Mm -hmm. We have a blog. We, we answer questions. Uh, there are a lot of videos you can click on, mm -hmm. and uh, it's amazing. It's very educational, and you can learn about all the procedures I do, see patient testimonials before and afters. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful site. And you gave us quite an education today in a short amount of time, mm -hmm. and I thank you again so much for coming on.